So you want to write the perfect blog post that ranks on Google, gets a ton of traffic and makes you money. Well, in this video, I am going to show you my exact process step by step exactly how I do it, how I make the article that make me thousands of dollars every single month. Something that you can replicate in any niche. So let's get right into the blogging that has changed a ton since a decade ago, even five years ago. And really the perfect blog post that ranks on Google comes down to a specific formula, not an art, not a creative writing, but an exact data driven scientific way to rank content. So each post you write it is really a mediator between the search and the desired outcome. So someone thinks of something in their head, they type it to the Google or Bing and then you provide the information as a blog in the right format for them to get them to take an action of some kind. So this video is going to cover how to write the perfect blog post in 2023. So let's get right into it. And so first we have to realize to create a blog post that then we focus on one target keyword per post one main we call parent keyword. One thing that we are going after, we can't go after multiple. We go after one and then we validate this keyword with the search. Then we have to really hone in on search intent because search intent is everything. This is psychological intent behind the search. When somebody searches for something, why do they want it? And what are we going to give them? What are we actually going to write that's vital important? And there are two types of search intent that I like to focus on. First is in for the transactional. So that's what people looking to buy things, searching for things like the best laptops, best credit cards, best camping tents, any product out there. And then there's a informational content, how to do stuff. That's what people use the intent for how do I do this, how do I do that. So that's the two types of search intent that we are going to cover in this blog post format. So this is formatted by intent. So transactional post that things like short, you know, list article, product review and comparison post. So these come in as mediator before people are ready to quite buy. So for example, if I Google laptop by itself, I am going to see sites like Best Buy and Walmart and product pages related to laptops. But if I search for best laptop as a blog post, blogs are going to come up tech road or media sites recommending and comparing the articles. Because when someone signifies the word best it is a transactional, they are looking to buy, they are looking to compare products. They are not quite ready to buy, but they need a blog to push them over the edge. So you can find these keywords really easily do in any niches. And then these informational, so these are posts that tech and teach, educate. So how do the things everyone you know, any blog only needs these two type of the post. Transactional the products you need in that niche and the informational how to do things in that niche. We will cover both for this through. You have to think like a scientist, not an artist. This is not a creative writing. We are not starting from a blank page. Everything is written in a similar format to rank on Google and make money. There is a business is behind this and it is a structured way to do it. Where we are thinking in like list and creating system and building processes, not writing from a blank page. But we can follow SEO checklist that it, that it will help us a lot in determining exactly how to go about it step by step and we can also use tool to make it easier. So there is a thing like rank math for SEO. There is a serve for SEO to you know optimize the post and add semantic keywords and use artificial intelligence or AI to make it better. There is a table of content plugin. So we also want our blog post if they are perfect. We want them to be easily scannable, readable and navigational as well. Like we want people to be able to get places fast and not get frustrated or scroll endlessly and then click back because they can't find what they are looking for. Then we also want blogs. So Candence is a good one for that. Candence is a theme in Candence blog allow you to create nice looking blog. 
and templates. Especially for affiliates list posts, Jasper as well, we can help be speedy up the process by you know writing with AI and then content at scale is the latest AI tool that basically write everything for you. But we have to think about all of it when we are creating blog posts in 2023. So first we choose and validate our keyword. So let's look at the couple different ones and we are looking at medium to low difficulty and then we want to kind of compare you know informational versus transactional searches. So if we go to the HDF and use their keyword explorer and put in how to increase vertical jump. So this is for the people to play basketball or people that are just looking to jump higher and we can see that the keyword difficulty is medium pretty low number this is a scale from 0 to 100 so that is somewhere low the search volume is pretty strong at 8.2k a month in traffic potential and then we can see all these down here the number one site is spoonerpt.com and we can see let's look at one of these example site on here it is not too competitive there is some low authority size ranking on page one but this is an informational post how to increase your vertical jump so you can see there is the title there is an introduction there are a lot of different steps there a pop-up and then it asks questions you know to jump program really work how to improve your vertical jump step by step so you can see even informational posts are also step by step list because anyhow to do something post typically requires steps right so step one is the vertical jump test optimizing your jump but it is the informational and it is just the content written in an informational way to answer that the user question now if we compare that to best vertical jump we can see that we add the word best in it signifies some transactional search intent so we can see exercises that's more informational but we can do best vertical jump program and when we look at that one that has you know 250 volumes 600 monthly it's pretty low competition one and we can see that it's actually pretty easy to rank for because there is a low 30 sites ranking on page one like jump manual vlog with the doctor of eight basketball mentality with the domain rating of two barely and any backlinks are built to these sites but there's a pretty easy when we look at that example from like this and the site like the hopesgeek.com we can see the best vertical jump program in 2022 that is i could probably update the year their more but they have the introduction and then again it is a list but they have this is a transactional post that is the recommending product so right it is a little bit different and then but here is also information in this type of course like how does it work what training is good for me and here the main program and you can see if you look at very very bottom left here there is an affiliate link here for this program so those are the two main type of posts informational and transactional if you are a creator and want the easiest way to monetize your videos with your own netflix style membership site plus branded mobile and tv app you must know about your screen so it doesn't matter if you have the channel about pokemon cards or classic cards you could be the beauty vlogger a tech geek whatever you are making content about your screen can help you monetize your work easily with their your screen platform you can sell membership rent and host paid live stream to your most premium loyal subscriber and with their tools you can build your own website or even a wide label mobile and a tv app including android ios apple tv roku and fire tv and a thousand of creators have already gotten started and are earning recording money from their video. So try your screen for yourself, sign up for the free trial and the link is in the description below. So ultimately the post structure is dedicated by the search intent. So for a transactional post, there is a list post that review product. They want to buy stocks, so give them the list, get them to click those affiliate links, but put them prominently in the post. So you get them to click it and give them the best possible source of information then there's the informational intent which is longer form content that teaches the topic in depth so we really the main goal for transactional post is list and there is a clear format for this that we've covered these are the main money making post of any blog these are the ones we prop up with the informational content because we need to blanket the niche for topical authority 
but we need these are the ones that make the most money the goal here is to keep people on the page and get people to click your affiliate link so ultimately we want to give them the best possible information too so like in the vertical jump category or even something like the best golf drivers best golf iron or something like that we want to make sure that we cover our bases and we give the best possible wide range rounded out the number of products so for example best for beginners best for intermediate best for left right hand whatever that specific niche is but we want to cover our bases create and the best broad quality post with our own information our own unique take it on and get is formatted in the right way so really the transactional article structure look like this so there is the article headline the h1 headline there is the intro there is a ton of potential affiliate content boxes or a table of content something like that that show all of the information higher up so the page so they don't have to scroll all the way down and then you know you have your reviews laid out in visually one by one with the product in the list some extra information about it you know how to do the different things some more informational content underneath that list and then a summary and of course an affiliate disclaimer that's a little bit high up always if you have affiliate link showing that it is an affiliate post here and or some example of different transaction article we have one from diveind.com on the best sky gloves and meter of 2023 so we see it said the h1 heading with the list format introduction they have their blogs they which is the top seven sky gloves and then they have all that their affiliate links right there and which is just make it easier to click and find them and then individual reviews underneath you can read the full reviews and then they have any other blogs here these are actually pretty easy to add with the candidates multiple column different text star dating and then the review so you can see that there is an example any other one here is the best roller skater roller skates for the beginners same thing there is a title there is a heading they have a ton of ads on this page mm, but you can see that so this is a kind of an interesting format. They have a lot of pin interest. So there is a all about pin interest link going. These are actually Amazon affiliate links as images. They are going here. You can see that if I click on this, it is an affiliate Amazon link. So it is a kind of interesting. That's unique text. They all look very fancy. Any other example here is continue with the cookies and the 18 best roller skaters from the roller skate that on. They have the same format, introduction, bullets, list with all the ones covering the bases here for beginners, women, men, kids, outdoor, roller, derby, and all of that. And in a hurry here, the topic clicks the affiliate links right way. Why should you trust my advice? A wonderful picture of him from looks like probably the 1980s with a beautiful jacket. And then he has Amazon affiliate links here with the top, top ones. And then if you go down, it is going to be the individual reviews themselves. If you look at any example on my side, like the best webinar software, it is the same kind of the idea introduction, five column showing all five that I like with the affiliate links on each one reading going down the pages. If you want to read the review introduction, text actually have video and then there is a heading. I have any other bullet list and then my unique tips with my own blocks on it content images and call to action button to try it with the affiliate links. Next, let's talk about information post structure. So we discover you know a little bit of overall summary which I will deep dive into the transactional affiliate post but for informational one, it is somewhat similar. You have your article headline, your H1 title, you have your intro copy, your intro paragraph, you have a kind of something maybe about what you will learn or you tell ahead about what the article is going to cover. You also might have a known a table of content. They'll have like these are the different shapes in the process because maybe somebody already know how to do the first few things but they want to get down the list the main body copy broken up with the i2 and h3 headlines with the different step maybe an faq section and a summary so let's look at a couple examples here it is a banklico.com the definitive guide to link building you can see that it has a fancy looking nice table of contents here with a different chapter and as you can see here what you can do also is do your you can add link down the page so if you look at the very very bottom left here we have the url and it's a backlinko.com link building and then compound a sign or hashtag however old you are it will be probably dictate how you say i am going to say it 
pound sign maybe i don't know link building fundamental and what that does if i click that it's make down to that section and what you can do is like you it is a pretty easy way but you will take this heading it might like h2 heading for example you will add that in html just says you know heading id equals and then you can equal to the link building fundamental it is actually pretty easy you put into the code and then it know when it the matches then it goes down to the page so anyway that's how you would like do these kind of links but you can see there is a chapter one what is the link building why are they are important chapter number two how you find the link the authority of the page so this is a really well laid out article with a lot of design element and the things that why it ranks so well this is like way more more complicated than any article i have ever created which are pretty impressive but then we have the any other one like how to save money first how do we do is to there is an introduction you see what is i had right so there is all the step of different options so the truth is blog post and the internet is based on the list so if any type of the information the human brain needs like list to break things up you can't read you know how to save money first and then it's write a huge story about every single detail about do all do we search in 10 dictates that people have very very short intention span so we need to give them the information as quickly as possible a lot of the truth too it is the people that skim the article and a blog they don't read every single word like i guarantee you most people don't read every single word right there they might be read some of it but a lot of them don't they just want to look down here they might say okay i am going here I am like oh that's interesting I am going to get a travel or overboard credit card I will click down here I will do this and there is a there can be a free link as well you can see here in that formation post too they just don't sometimes they don't work quite as well as the more than the rational search intent but is a list and there is an intro here the list item either how to do a something or how a little or list of different formation pieces of content going down all the way sum it up and end it up ultimately we approach this as the, like a scientist each blog post is ideally a mini business because each transaction post might have its unique affiliate link and its own ranking on google and its own income it's a good to know it is know by post basis how much money you are actually making so goal here is to follow a similar formula layout structure and content style that you are comfortable with that you kind of create your own process around that you can do quickly and high quality then you create a framework that you can eventually scale you want to master it for before hiring a writer or any annuals so do it or using these ai tools and then you make decision based on analytics and the result and the real data so if something not working or you know the time on page is super low or it's not getting any traffic or transactional then you might want to test a different sub nest or try a different content or maybe you search intent is off because they like the something the search intent might just be off so the blog is not creative writing it's a based on a true data decision making so ultimately you have to follow an seo checklist so every post that should be optimized for google and seo it has to be if you want to rank so that just kind of common knowledge but we need to make sure that we follow a specific checklist with the keyword in the url heading intro for search to heading throughout the copy and have the image schema markup meta description so we will all cover all of these we want to first cover the target keyword go the your url url is the blog post that is the only thing that you cannot change because if you change the url any backlink you get into our and internal links that you were pointing out so there is a broken in 404 error because as you know you make sure that the target url only include that target keyword so you will see in the overlow article the 18 best seo tool that expert actually you it doesn't have any tight title in the url so it is just simply as you told that every target keyword that going to be after so you put that in the url is going to h1 title and heading that is a very important so the first step of creating a blog post is coming up with the heading why you can use here is the most title tag explorer so you can click that i could say let's see if this fits and it you can put into the any so actually tells you show you what it look like So this is actually a list it big too long so cut off when you see when you view it on the google so this is the character limit which is typically around 600 pixels by limited to 60 to 70 or so the character but you could say that it I, if i actually did i actually could try that it actually all fits but maybe actually it's working for them so you want to really focus on the title include the target keyword in the title and include it early so include it very early and uh, usually for transactional post you want the number in the title typically odd numbers work better than the even number or whatever reason they look a little weird and are more clickable then you add the target keyword and then you add what i call search intent 
trigger words so these are those it is not like so this is not the clickbait but it's getting people interesting in getting them to the click and this is actually based on the search intent so for example if you are writing an article about how to lose weight you would want to probably how to lose weight you know fast and quickly discreetly whatever that it we could not say how to lose weight in a public and slowly write no one would click on that but it will be how to lose weight fast and effectively or experts opinion are you do the base looking on the competition to find out the right titles for you but it is a pretty clear for me you add the target keyword into the title with a larger you know wrapping around is so next the target keyword will go into the intro so probably want to put in the somewhere early on the article like right here the seo it is the first intro paragraph and then you want to add it in the headline so h1 is the title so h1 is the title l2 the heading are the next most important piece of content for google and being so you have the target keyword in the form of question so for example in the 18 bet seo tool first they are saying why use them but then they are adding it in the best search engine optimization seo tools and this is in the h2 because it is the second most important heading in the article and then you will see that the list item is any transaction post or h3 heading so that the format i2 for an actual question h3 for the answer or the list term and that list item that is how google wants to see it google only had if you have the paragraph test for everything google would not know or to understand or what the most important is so when you are going after this keyword seo tool in the url h1 title and i2 then after that we don't need the keyword stuff this is all about the user experience and making the article actually good based on your own experience and you take any pros and cons and really organizing the article in the right way so after that you do want to is to add the target keyword a few more times but you would use a tool like surfer seo or the semantic keyword tool to really optimize the on page seo of this article so what i am going to here is i am going to copy this entire article as an example and paste into the surfer seo no it's not going to work perfectly because it's going to take like all pages stop in there but a little i am going to give an example of the content score so it's pull in all the content and the tool like surfer seo is really really important for an op on page seo because it uses ai it scan the top 30 or plus ranking website online and then it give you a score based on how well and authoritative and good for your article and content so it's also tell you how many words should there be and where this fit in that range it is a 4400 word because that the typical range is a 4400 to 5000 these are 13 and heading maybe there is will be a more which probably need be more paragraph i actually noticed that this is a paragraph or too long here like it will be break them to for your eye so just like for readability like where you are writing a blog post for the intent we want short paragraph just a couple sentences break it up to the eye make it easy to read use font that are like 17 18 point fonts make it to look like nice white background black text easy to read blue links short paragraph break it up with a bullet point bold text they are not really doing that here they are could add i mean it is easy to read it is a very good but they could break it up more paragraph potentially but then what the most important part here is then there is the images they could use more images because the other side have the most most important of part on the seo through it's all these semantic keywords because you know google is the scanning this article and they have the national language processing and artificial intelligence machine that they are saying based on scanning these article here you know i could should see all these different variation of the stuff if this is a truly a robust article for this on page seo come down to knowing all of these keywords that should be in there so there is a thing like that for an seo tools article random things like search engine like google and perform keywords research things that that don't even have a seo tool in them but are semantically related to those are important to add into we don't want to just add keyword stuff is either we want to get good at enough score and move on the because it is not all about just putting all these keyword in and thinking that just because we have them all in here and we blast them in there and it's going to be the perfect no if we put them all in there but the article sucks and it isn't the written well and it's boring and it's not helpful and it just kind of basic stuff then that's going to be the issue and it's going to be the hard to rank to so the key is use this as framework get in the ballpark of other articles so you know it's like in the right ballpark range and it has a good number of keyword that are in there and then make it as good as possible with your own unique taking interesting introduction better you know into the intro paragraph you on take on this product if it is a transaction post and that will be you really no helpful so the surfer seo is the first tool to make all these easier there is any other one that i like for formatting specific about pdf post and even the information post and there is a candles blog so we get the sample site here if i go to the some of the post on this side you can see something like best sunglasses for men 
if I go to the post editor, this website is using the Candice theme and Candice blog. And you can see it is a super easy to use. So we have the main H1 hiding here. Best sunglasses for men introduction. And this is the Candace blog. So Candace has a number of different blogs that you can add them from the column tag image. All kinds of a different layout. But we have a table of content. So we added a table of content blog. And you can see that it's allowing header in anything that is uh, H2 and H3. And H4 heading is in this table of content. No, there is no H4 in this article. So H2 and H3 just make it easy to navigate. No people, no right away. Maybe they are already interested in Laban. They just click down the page and they will already get to it. Then we have our first I2 heading right here. More information and then this is a nice looking Candice block right there. And this is a row layout. This is just a Candice section with a two column and then a button. So this is, you know, something that look nice. It is a little bit more. So, you know, your user friendly and good design from a design standpoint. Then just only paragraph test and then you have this button to check your price on Amazon as you can put your affiliate and you can put your affiliate link here and you can also you know open it no follow say sponsor open it on new window so but then again every single list there is a formatted in the exact same way so number one number two number three four five and you just kind of build this in a way process this is a very simple example but can this block is a good because you can add in the is unique affiliate block of information content block or if you use you know google docs and microsoft word you can probably figure out how to use and add your know wordpress with candace no to you writing the blog post video will not be a complete without taking about ai i am thrilled to be here and i can't wait for the fun to begin so this is a different ai tool that we can use to speed up our process they are not magic they are not going to write everything for us but we can know we should know how to use these tools so the first is a chat gpt so i could say something like write a 1000 word article on the best vpn include express vpn number one on the list and optimize it for the target keyword best vpn and then it's going to the start writing for us so it's write down the introduction so it's going to start writing this list post format and writing about company and products and we can use it the way so that's write it for us however is it not going to pass like ai content detection tool we have to heavily edit stuff from chat GPT to make it human written content. Google says they are not going to like necessarily penalize AI written content. But we don't know. We uh, want future proof ourselves is the future like if we write 20 AI article and then Google say here yes, we are going to penalize those they just disappear. We want to be smart and safe about it. But we can see this is formatting is correctly for us and it is kind of a base to understand what make a good article. Maybe it will give you some good ideas. There is also something like Jasper. So you could take this in Jasper. Let's say I just want to copy like some of, you know, the intros and then the first bullet point here, I am going to select everything and paste this in. You can even do Jasper command. So you could say this article is about the best VPN. My tone of voice is VT. The keyword is the best VPN. And I want to say, write the paragraph, write an FAQ section about and how to choose a VPN. We are on the command medium length and it can kind of help so you can do that stuff why should i consider using so you can add like faq to the bottom of these articles so you can make it a longer command you can even use jasper recipes to create like blog post template formula where it will give you exactly like you can see it's writing this kind of stuff for you so you can use blog post recipe that give you like this is exact template layout i want to table of content heading images so jasper is any other good one and then any other good one is the content at scale that's a newer company your piece of software that's kind of the build on top of these ai tools and it helps and almost write everything for you so i did one here on the best ai chat post you can go into the content at scale and you can say how long you want it to be and what the target keyword is a few sentences about the article and then it will give you the complete piece of content with the introduction table of content the heading ranking the top five how to choose the benefits of using and the conclusion as you can see the kinds of does it is a similar things with the server seo where you can add more keyword in it make it a longer but is adding all this stuff like this and i don't not write a single word of it it's already done so if you are interested in learning more about jasper or content or scale you can get exclusive bonuses if you sign up with the link in the description so in this video so a lot of this stuff is all about data demon you know on s on page seo the right structure using ai tool all of that but ultimately we want to make the content as sticky as much possible and, and and the search journey that is the ultimate goal ending the search journey is the number one goal of all these that is the ultimate ranking factor some somebody's google something they click your blog post they don't go back and click any other one and that's called link uh stick so with that going back and then click any other post and then ending the search journey on any other one you want your post to put 
so they end with the search journey so remember we are always still writing for the human first even though we need to know this is on page seo stuff we need to know what we are writing for human being and we need to you know almost literally to specifically focus on that's more than the on page seo stuff so you want people to end with your content which means you have the best article possible there is something other thing like Well, fine. How long are the people taking your article? Are they reading? Are they bouncing? Are they clicking? Other pieces of content, internal links are actually interesting in why you are offering, and they are ending on you. That's ultimately the best ranking factor. That are clicking through your good, so you know, optimize H1 heading and headline, and ending the search journey here, and not going back to any other post that the post sticking. Then watch your organic click through rate on your website, and then that can be done with the heading. and that you are mastering search intent that's what it automatically come down to are you giving the reader exactly what they want psychological based on that search and that can be done through the competitor research looking at the other articles seeing where that search intent lies and creating the best possible pieces of content from your own experience so writing blog post that and it is a practical and predictable process you need to know on page seo you need to know how to use the ai tool we also need to know like write this stuff for human being master search intent put in the right format and then just see what work there there is no perfect formula for this you will see in all these example i showed they are different you know but they, it's really about creating the best pieces of content entertaining and giving the right helpful information to your reader and uh, you really just need a system to follow and keep working the system over and over again so this is not like write one blog post and then you can be done you need to it If you want to make real money with your blog, especially with affiliate income, create a system to create a lot of content and create a process for it. So we teach this exact framework and the strategy in my blogging master class. So make sure to click in the link in the description below and sign up for that free course. And there is a top link in the YouTube description here. It's about so I will cover all the things in my YouTube channel. So this strategy work for everyone. So build a profitable content business in 2023. So please watch it carefully and apply this thing fully practically and don't miss any point. If you have anything interesting in your mind, you can comment in the comment section. And this is my channel on YouTube in which I teach stuff about e-commerce, how to make money online stuff. And if you like this video, don't forget to subscribe this YouTube channel. Get e-commerce. I will see you guys in my next video.